And Flaming Baguette still gets the fry. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> rigged. I agree. Totally rigged. <laughs> totally rigged. Welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. How's it going? <laughs> That's true. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't discriminate who died. The person who dies gets the fry. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see what has been going on if you're not watching Strange New Worlds you should watch uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds it's been pretty good so far this season um, another solid episode yesterday um Oh, uh, uh, I was going to mention to Arcade Bear that uh, episode three, which was last week's episode, took place in Toronto <laughs> in the past, modern day. So that was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, besides that, hey, Zab, welcome back. I just want to remind people that uh, no back seating. <laughs> if I need help, I will ask for help. So it's just a reminder was telling me about that yeah yeah exactly yeah it's pretty cool it was actually the first star trek episode to take place in canada <laughs> not that they usually take place on earth but you know there's a few episodes where they're on earth now they also uh no backsitting comment and pennant uh yeah There are yet, or is there? Is there still no vaccine? Yeah. So I'm gonna do a reminder: no back feeding. And I've never penned a tweet before. How do I pen it? Hey, potential tadpole. All right. Well, thanks for the lurk. Hover over it and then select the pen. I do not see a pen. Yeah, you pin it, Neil. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're muted, Neil. Your choices are customized time or manually unpinned or end of stream. I'll do manually. Yeah, end. manually unpinned to end of stream. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, then, potential tadpole. Then, then for me, though, it's not back seating; it's side seating. <laughs> oh, so it's allowed because it's side seating. Now, yeah. so what y'all didn't know is like when you were in Battle 3, I did not, I was not in possession of the Switch. Neil, <laughs> Neil was still in possession of the Switch and was playing uh, Tears we, of the Kingdom right have, up to the have, last second. We have split custody. We have switch. split custody of the switch. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> is he in the motorcycle sidecar? I don't know. No, I'm in the passenger seat. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We're in a car. We're not I'm, in a motorcycle. I'm the navigator. Yeah. We're just in a a, a, a British car because we're because um, <laughs> I'm on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I only. That's true. I only play uh, like four out. Well. I play 20 hours a week for four hours for every, you know, for five days. So there is there is little time. Now, Neil, Neil stays up later than I do. So usually what he does is he'll play into, the, you know, I'll go to bed and he'll stay up a few more hours and play. That's usually what it does. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Depends well, on this week. Doing. I would have done it on Tuesday and Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday, maybe. But we we did friend over and watched stuff on Thursday and we went out. To see yeah. the Dial of Destiny. The Dial of Destiny on Tuesday, which was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls bad. So, like, very, pretty, very few Crystal Skulls, I was like, very few things are. I was like, that was such a bad movie. Um, this one, I did not feel that it was a bad movie. I felt it was a long movie. I had to run to the bathroom halfway through. Um, but besides that, that's why, that's why I like watching movies at home. 
Oh, potential tadpole wants me to do arcade mode. I will do that before I start Zelda, before I get into it. I always forget it's going to do this. Yeah. This email. Ladybug is not on there, so I do not have Ladybug. I have Miss Pac-Man. I can do Miss Pac-Man. I like Miss Pac-Man. I haven't played Miss Pac-Man in a while, so that'll be a good one to play. I always forget about this email. The large purchase approved email. What are you talking about? Uh, well, I, I don't know if we, we've been having air conditioner problems. Oh, so yeah. We have, I don't know Florida. if we've really talked about our air conditioning problems. So, yeah. We, we, had to, we had to replace one of the coils in, in one of the units in a, in a valve, in the, an expansion valve in the other. And we paid for it today. And when when I make a large charge on my American Amex Express card, Gordon, like, did, was that you your... get an email that says, large purchase approved. I see. I see. It's like anything over five hundred dollars. I had Ladybug potential tadpole. I had it on my uh, Coleco Vision. I remember playing it on my Coleco Vision. I don't ever remember seeing it in the arcade. Ladybug is the first female protagonist. Yeah. Earlier than Ms. Pac-Man. Uh, that could be. Oh, Neil's googling it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I it. The rule is, I try to have them as arcade machines. Like, I could put other emulators on there and do other games, but I, I want to keep it to arcade games. Yeah. Wow, well, two years. That's cool. 1981. All right, well, let's, uh, you know, as always, as we're about to do, we can take a break and play a game off the arcade machine like Miss Pac-Man. I'm looking for the high score real quick. Actually, they're both 1981. Oh, are they? This Pac-Man is considered a 1982 game, but was initially released in 1981. Did they do like market testing? <laughs> I don't think they would do it. All right. Potential toll <laughs> Potential tadpole wants me to play Miss Pac-Man in our game world. I'm going to start looking for Potential Tadpole, the game on the arcade machine. <laughs> I was like, okay, go to the peas. Oh, no, wait, we're looking for Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> Evidently, this ladybug is considered a Pac-Man clone. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. Oh, it was a Pac-Man clone, not a Ms. Pac-Man clone. Well, it's a, you know, any of those games that were similar to Pac-Man were sort of considered like that and mousetrap and yeah miss pac-man yeah are all namco games well that's good <laughs> yeah yeah ladybug was definitely a clone ladybug was universal uh which I, i'm trying to think of the other game oh yeah have, universal you, uh, uh they do mr do mr do that's it Mr. All, of the, all of the Mr. Do. All games. the Mr. Do's. And I have a lot of Mr. Do's on there. Mr. Do, Mr. Do's Castle, Mr. Do's Wild Ride. And I think that's it. <laughs> all right. Let's. Uh, there's the high score I'm trying to beat 46 160. Let's do it. Such classic music. They went bankrupt. 
Oh, Universal Day? February 2nd, 2023. Well, no, they're still in business, but they're in bankruptcy. Evidently, they make, uh, like, pachinko and slot machines. Too. Oh, my goodness, I am doing terrible. Oh, I got a, I got an extra person. Oh, you're playing Ms. Pac-Man. Oh, you're talking about Pac-Man. Jay always talks about like an arcade game in the grocery store, which is not something I ever saw when I was a kid. Um Pretty much the only place I ever saw them were in pizza restaurants. Uh, pizza Hut always they were had prominent there. One or but the pizza place that we went to always had two. And for years, it was always Ms. Pac-Man and some other game. And the Ms. Pac-Man machine was a table model. There was a like a laundromat you could go to that had a couple. Uh, because it's Miss Pac. Miss Pac-Man had different sound effects. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Miss Pac-Man was actually an unauthorized sequel. Yeah, but then uh, that was actually made by Bally Midway. Yeah. Um. And then got uh, and then so they didn't get sued. It got like reverse licensed back to Namco. A D and D side-scrolling brawler. What what was it? Or or was it the one I have on here? M mists of something. <laughs> I have no idea what it was programmed in. Probably just assembly language. Back then, you just kind of coded it for the board. You didn't really use a high-level language like you do nowadays. Yeah, shadows of yeah yeah, and Tower of Doom. Oh, okay. All right, let's play again. I can do much better than that.
Much better. <laughs> Much better. I, I took way too much, uh, too much risk. <laughs> sure. Da, da, da. If you haven't seen the chase. Died instantly. Wow, I I must have really been rocking when I got that forty six one sixty. Okay, so lady, so ladybug was ladybug a? They like each other. 
Is it, so Ladybug was an arcade machine game? Okay, totally. Yeah, I will add Ladybug. Let me write that down. <laughs> All right, let's play again. Oh, thank God. Disciplinary panel calls for Rudy Giuliani's disbarment. Good. Bowsered. I've been Bowsered. All right. <laughs> hey, Crackles. I will put that on in a second. And it's funny because somebody said, uh, I can't afford Bowser onesie. And I thought they meant they wanted to buy one for themselves. Friday night is a popular night for me to wear the Bowser onesie. I think I've worn it like two Fridays in a row.
So crap, crap. <laughs> All right, let's uh, we'll play one more game, then I'll get in the Bowser onesie. Play one more game. We usually play four games. It was as as if your mom gave you a dollar to go play some video games. Your parents had more money than mine did. And pull out two quarters. There we go. Ghosts were extra dodgy in that one. <laughs> they kept running away instantly.
All right, Neil, do you want to come over here and talk with people? This is what I live for. Well, <laughs> would you like to sit? No, I'll do yes, I would. I would Versus like to standing? Sit. All right. Sorry, potential tadpole, but that was fun. I enjoyed I enjoyed playing that. So, All right, I'm going to switch into the Bowser onesie, and Neil's going to come and talk. Yes, so I only show up every so often when y'all decide to put him in this outfit when he decides to turn our air conditioning down to 70, which I like most of the time, but I actually get too cold sometimes. And by the way, I'm curious, what exactly is a potential tadpole? I would think you would be a potential frog as a tadpole. A potential tadpole is just an egg. So your name should be Egg. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing again, Shipwreck. It's great. Uh, it's great to see you here. Uh, Eleven months. That's that's fantastic. Yes, you could be an egg. Uh. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, it's just the thought that came into my head as I was looking at your string of messages and they all said potential tadpole and I'm like, what exactly is a potential tadpole? Well, he's in it though, because he, he changed just right off camera over there. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't go very far to change this time. So what was a potential tadpole? An egg? I could be an egg. Okay. All right. Cool. And thanks, Shipwreck. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Possible froggy, eventual, eventually. Or you know, you could say, well, that tadpole has potential to be a frog, as well. Right. Um. I think. Uh. I think Jake can give you that, or he put it on Discord, maybe. Oh, a link. A link to it. Yep. Yeah, I can. I can do a link. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Kigurumi shop, dash shop is where I got it. Don't you have another one of those somewhere? I do. So I bought two Bowser onesies. Uh, and so that when this one wears out, I have the other one. Because I learned that lesson once. Like, I, that Star Trek ba backpack, I love my Star Trek backpack. But it, it, it just started to eventually wear away to nothing. And it makes me sad. And I was like, gosh, I should have bought two Star Trek backpacks. <laughs> and I didn't. Yeah. And so I have another Bowser onesie still in the, in the packaging. And I haven't opened it. So, uh, and that's for the day when... This Bowser onesie is just threads hanging off of me. And then, <laughs> and then we can do that. <laughs> All right, let me clean this up a little bit. I am in the Bowser onesie. I will leave that to make sure uh, that I'm going to turn off some of these redemptions real quick. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, sure. Oh, they're awesome. I think our gay bear has one. He he sang peaches at kara uh, karaoke uh, the other day. He had a video of it. I think you put it on the Discord. 
if you want to check it out. Alright, let's play some Breath Tears. I keep wanting to say Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Uh, uh. All right. Where were we at with this game? I don't even remember. Oh, that's right. We were about to go into the shrine. Peaches, 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 peaches. I love you. Oh, my God. What? That was my rendition of it. That's basically what no. Bowser does. Did you ever make it to Lookout Landing? Maybe. <laughs> what are you talking about, uh, Shipwreck? Kingdom and Wild? Well, Breath can be wild. Uh, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom? Is this just one of those battle ones? Yes, if you paid attention, it did say I'm back. Oh, no, I don't pay attention. Yes, I know. Okay. Read the instructions because I think it's... <laughs> I am. Well, I, I think it's going to be one of those I am. ones where it will only let you do it the single way. Yeah. that my oh yeah 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 uh go put it in the discord all right hold on what did it say don't worry if you can't do it it'll Yeah, it's showing me all this stuff that I've forgotten about. Yeah, okay. See how I did that? McFlurry. Oh, you know what? I don't have a shield. Uh, was there one at the front? No, I have one. I just, I, I was, Never I was using a, uh, yeah, two-handed weapon. Actually, I've already done this. You may proceed. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to learn that at one point because um, I just, it, it helps so much. 
All right, so let's look at what we got here. Got a lot of these axes. Let's drop this axe. Pick up the rusty broadsword. Really? That shield pairing. I, I didn't use the shield pairing that often, I will admit. I mean, that's a flame. We're just not going to worry about it. We're good. I need to turn in my Korok seeds and get me some inventory spaces. Some slots. Some slots. Oh. Some slots. Uh, this is still a, yeah, it's a, still an axe. Let's drop. Hmm. We will drop this. How many rock hammers do you need? Jesus Christ. I, 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 I'm a, I'm a rock hammer kind of guy. I, 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 I polish stones, use my rock hammer. Are they going to make like an amiibo? So like I have this. <laughs> I guess now with this new system, there are a lot of weapons. Are they gonna like, instead of Link with a, a little cool arrow amiibo, he's gonna have like a little stick with a boulder on the end? Cause that would be funny. <laughs> well, things are pretty plentiful, right? I had a master sword and then it went away. Yeah, I talked to you. I guess we're going this way. I don't think I've talked to this person. Seems like oh, I'm probably gonna scare him. Oh, you did. Uh, you did go to Lookout Landing. Oh, okay. Uh, they're the ones that send you here. Oh, okay. Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty here this whole time, and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I really got to get serious about my training. Captain Hawes doesn't know what you're back. That you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill past the lower gates. Mm. I'm sure the captain will, will be just as surprised to see you as I was. What about all this red mist? That doesn't seem good. Knock, knock. Oh. <sighs> Play. Do I need to go down there? What are you trying to figure out? Oh, nothing. I'm just doing stuff. I could just walk up to it and open it. Uh, it wouldn't. It didn't give me a prompt to open it. Um, try one of your skills. <laughs> oh, I guess that's a good point. But I was going to walk around it. Why would you do that? Because... You can't fuse with it. Ooh. 
Hey, this area is off limits. While we construct our res or research for Princess Zelda and Link, you can't just come wandering in here like oh. that. Link, is that you? Sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need to search party anymore? Ah, you should go talk to Captain Haas. I wonder if they want me to go talk to Captain Haas. He's, le he's leading search efforts here on the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Our daughter saw fireflies for the first Oh, was I supposed to capture those? I don't have like a net. What are you trying to do? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. You don't need a net. Nothing. <laughs> what about Annette Funicello? Everyone needs her. She died. Did she die? What about Frankie Avalon? Did he die? Whoa. Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. <gasps> this area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be on this, should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. Okay. What were you saying, Neil? Annette Punicello had multiple sclerosis. Ah, okay. I think I remember that. Frankie Avalon is still alive. He's 82. Hmm. Which means he's younger than Harrison Ford. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Ah. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. You're the spinning image of Link. I bet if Captain Hawes saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over here. Over there. Look at that. That poor rusty, <laughs> rusty broadsword. Like you can't carry any more shields. meant to drop it. I mean, that shield looks nice. I'm going to use my flame emitter shield. What? Oh, I almost walked right off the gate. Link, just like Kratos, has a quick down on the... Right, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. Oh my goodness. Link, just climbing the walls. He's so bored. Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway, but the captain is way up on top of the gatehouse there. Doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked. So uh, best to stay out of the way until he can help somehow. Whatever. What is this? Why is there stuff here? <laughs> Looks suspicious. Turns out it was not suspicious.
Why, hello, people. It is me, Link, your hero. That. <gasps> A soup ladle. Let's, um, if I have anything that I can... Uh, look, I got the, the Hylian herb. Oh, no, no, no. Hold. Let's add some carrots. Some of the herb. The herb's really good. <gasps> add some salt. And... A cricket. Yep. Stamina bulb. We're gonna cook this shit. It's gonna be super. Look at that. Six hearts. Salt grilled meat. Look at that. Did you use two different stamina, stamina things? Just I don't one. remember. Did I? Possible. I don't pay attention to what I do. I just do. I don't know if you've noticed that about me. I don't know if I've um, I see, that's generally not what you're like in real life. <laughs> Is that why it confuses you? Yes. I mean, I'm used to you not paying attention to what's going on around you. That happens. Yeah. We're not paying attention to you, right? Uh, yes, I'm used to that. Who are you? It doesn't matter. I wouldn't remember me either. <laughs> bro, bro never talks. Yeah, it's true. He would not be a good host. What is that? Oh, it's a torch. Oh, but no, the torch isn't a, a melee weapon. It is a torch. No, you can beat people to death with it. I know, I know. What if I took, uh, what if I did this? Are you ready? Are you ready for my cleverness? <laughs> I've got a torch spear. Do I need to talk to this guy? Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there's any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. Great Mantis, thank you so much. How have you been doing? Thanks for using your Prime sub. <laughs> Fifteen hundred square foot. Three bedroom bungalow in College Park is $575,000. That's expensive. Cool. Doing, I'm doing well as well. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, have suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. They also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Like, what if out putting a torch on the end of a stick? Oh. Spider Link? Spider Link. It's just a statue. It is a statue. What is this? Your mom. No, it's Link. No, it's a rampart. Where's his Monado? That's a different game. Oh. Uh, 
Is it the rampart we watch? extra climby in this game. Aren't you supposed to find that dude? I'm looking for him. was in the top of the gatehouse. Maybe. Maybe not. We don't know where he's at, actually. They told you. Captain Haas? Or was it Captain Nas? Or is it Captain Waz? Like Waz. Top of the gay house? Oh. Well, then let's go. in your polio. Hey, senior polio. How's it going? You see my uh, porch on the end of a... You're way too proud of that. I mean, who else has that? Literally everyone who's played this game. <laughs> what? That was a unique creation that I just made. <laughs> there, are, there are no unique creations. was the first. Deep searching. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Actually, he looks kind of like a Spaniard. Ah! Oh! Link, is that you? You're alive? And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? <laughs> you're also playing Tears of the Kingdom? I'm sure you're way far ahead of me. Much further ahead of me. Alright, thanks for the lurk, Justin. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> ah! What a relief. He's like, no. Huh? Hang on, you're alone. But you heard the princess calling out to you. And you're here to help with the search. I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Mm. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. That's why I put a... a do you see, sir, that my I have a torch on the end of my whatever spear... The sheer amount of gloom has gotten over. Our work carries on, but we've been uh, been a bit dead in the water. Oh. <laughs> Two things left to do for the main story stuff. Redacted or final loss. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Captain, it's Princess Zelda. Did someone light the Princess Zelda? The Princess... Oh, it is her. Someone lit mm -hmm. the Princess... Uh, Searchlight again. Is she? Oh, she's flying again. It's Princess Leia. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, she's become huh? a light. Wait, what? Hmm? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? 
<laughs> How strange. This this is an emergency situation. Yeah, she can fly now. She can fly now. Hmm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense to let us withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. But Link doesn't talk. Well, it's funny. You don't know if he talks or not, because whenever he conveys information, you see his back. Yeah, that's true. Seems like the wrong way. I should go. I think you're on the wrong side. Well, Pura is back at the uh, at the thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Standing on the edge and staring in is intense. And seeing a chasm in person is far better than hearing about it. Whoa! Oh, his eyes are creepy. Why would you do that? Just up and startle someone on the edge of a void. This chasm is nearly bottomless, just like all the others created by the upheaval. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless chasm. Aww. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. <laughs> oh, shit! I didn't mean to try and catch him on fire. That was an accident. I don't think you can hurt them. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> oh, he said hot. It's a hot, hot, hot. Question is, could I use my shield to light? the torch on the end of my spear. Uh, not while it's on your back. Looks like it's awfully close. <laughs> well, you only have so much uh, fire that comes out of that thing, too. Oh, okay. So see you're, that, you're like, don't waste it. See that battery that pops yeah. up? But it's recharging. It does recharge, yeah. yeah. But also, keep in mind that the weapons are not permanent. Yeah. Are we gonna get a game where Hyrule's not in pieces? Or is, or is it just there? Are they just fated to always be? Did you find anything? What? 
telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me look. Well, I would say I, I'm, I'm excited to play Lords of Shadow 2 because it's the last Castlevania game and I've been playing so many Castlevania games that it will be nice to finally finish them. Also, I enjoyed uh, Lords of Shadow 1, so I'm interested to see where they take it. Um, besides that, you know, I'm excited to play all of them. Um, I'm, I'm nervous about Sonic, but, um, um, it'll be fun to play Last of Us Part 2 again. I mean, not again, to play it, uh, you know, continue the story. Uh, we, we recently finished watching the TV show. Of what? Last of Us. Just the Last of Us. If, uh, but if you're telling me what, that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. <laughs> a TV show is really good. Yeah, if you have, uh, if you're able to watch it, it's pretty good. It's very true to the TV show, but it adds, I mean, to the video game, but it adds, it adds quite a bit to it. <laughs> okay, okay. That's cool, playing Vegat. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up those clues about where she flew off to as soon as we look around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you've still got the pure pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Hmm? Yeah. It keeps, it, it's very accurate. I feel like I wouldn't have, I'm sad that I played the game so close to watching the TV show because I knew what was going to happen in the TV show. But, um, but at least they changed it up a little bit and added some more to it to make it still interesting. It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Ah. Ah. All right. Oh, I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Jo uh, is it Josha? Jo Josh Josha. What's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? <laughs> Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. <laughs> yeah, I played I played the game like while the TV show was going on. Uh. Or it was close. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. Agreed, Matthew J. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You, you must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen. So it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. Ah. You want more info? Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center right where the emergency shelter entrance is. You need clothing for your travels. Mm -hmm. You should go to the Mubs shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. Check. All right. Glad to have you back, Link. My name is Scorpus. 
I have been charged with managing lock Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about this place, any at all, come to me. I will answer those best ah. as I can. Now, please, allow me to open up the emergency shelter. You! You will open the emergency shelter. The shelter's underground. The shelter's underground. Okay. <laughs> I see. It used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Thanks. Cool. This dude. You don't see too many of the Hyruleans with beards. Except for the king. Today is the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pura as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins thorough investigations the world over. Huh? Yeah. Exactly. It's amazing how long it's been since the... Uh, the launch of the switch. I agree. And Nick Offerman did a great job. Mm. But your link, huh? Some of the soldiers were just telling me. As as a simple man from Luralin, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Ah. Luralin Village is a fishing town in East Nakluda. Far to the southeast. Used to be a popular resort thanks to its sandy white beaches and glorious views of the sparkling sea. Aww. Then we got attacked by pirates. Now no one's living there, let alone running the shops. But listen to me, getting all gloomy. There's an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I would, wouldn't have come here. I should just shut my trap and enjoy the charms of Lookout Landing. Mm. Hey, did you see those books they have here? I tried reading one the other day. Complete gibberish. How can the Zonai survey team make sense of that stuff? Well, they went to school. Yeah. <laughs> You're just an idiot. Uh, I don't need to sleep. Uh, no, you're... Oh. Link, right? You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I heard folks, t folks talking about you. And your face matches the one on the poster. <laughs> oh, sorry. You wanted a bed, eh? You can go ahead and take whichever empty bed you like. Ah. Uh, uh Nappin's sleep. Uh, sleep talking is particularly audible here, so you probably want a bed further away from him. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the chasms. That's despite how long he's been uh back which has been a quite a while he still hasn't made much of a recovery oh the upheaval created massive openings across the land known as chasms in fact there's one nearby just beneath hyrule castle and another to the south of lookout landing but if you go plumbing those depths you'll come across plenty of gloom you touch that stuff and your health will take a turn for the worse ah. anyway there's a young girl named uh, Josha who's been heading up investigations into the chasm. Despite her age, she's been leading the charge. Pretty remarkable, if you ask me. You remember the midnight launch of the Switch? I got mine. I entered a GameStop, and they and I just happened to have one. You called me to make sure it was okay. Yeah, because it was near my birthday. And I was making sure you didn't buy one for my birthday yet. Shit, I couldn't find one of those damn things. Yeah. I had tried. Ugh, I'm one off. Quack, quack. Oh. oh, hey, is that you, Link? I've been nosed down, so I don't know what's happened around me half the time. This 
pretty this is this is pretty involved so i'm going to keep sitting here while i wrench on this you might have heard but when the upheaval happened all the weapons decayed i've poured so much energy into trying to fix them it's been no use oh yeah just before the upheaval gloom began pouring out of the ground it clung to the weapons pulsing as if alive we watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes it was all pretty wild and i don't understand how it happened at a time when Hyrule can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most things. Oh. oh yeah, in case nobody has mentioned it yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though they probably won't be much use to you since they're, you guessed it, decayed. <laughs> yeah, you're part of the problem, yeah. <laughs> oh, what is this? A Boca Reaper. Boca Reaper! Traveler's sword. The Boko Reaper seems not good. <laughs> hmm. Where's the Boko Reaper? Did I not get it? Oh, there it is, nine. All right, people, you bore me. Oh. Hey, I know that face. And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see mm. fit. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. It'd be funny if she said breaking pots. <laughs> I spent so much time cleaning in here and there's still endless amounts of dust. Uh... Where does all the dust even come from anyway? People. All right. Let's get out of here. You bore me. All right. Let's, he said there was a shop over here goes over here. Oi. Hey, welcome. It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks like a little thrown together, but I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll support my place here. Oh. I come from a small fishing town called Lauren Village. Ah. Oh. Sony is the problem. <laughs> I come from. Okay, I already said that. It's way to the south of the southeast corner of Hyrule. It used to be a peaceful place, too. Then the pirates arrived. I used to run the village's general store. But when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could and run. And I don't know how it's going now. Uh? I hope I can return someday. But for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like. Buy my stuff. Oh. How about uh, this ruby? Ah. Uh, how about I'll sell you two of those? I'll sell you all. Oh. Ah. Wait. Ah. Well, no, no, no. Oh. I guess to buy stuff. Ah. Just go up. Alien tunic. I see. I currently have one. It'll go up to three. That's a good idea. What do I have? I have plenty. All right. Let's get the Hylian tunic. Oh. Ah. And let's get the, oh. the hood. Arrows. 
I have 91 in inventory. Okay. Let's put them on. Look at me looking all stylish now. Okay. Let's, uh, I think what we'll do is take a break. Doesn't matter. All right, let me hit uh, restart on Fry's quest. Hit exclamation mark, join, type it in chat if you'd like to join in. Welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else you gonna go? Um, it has a flame emitter on it. That's why it has a head. I, it, I got it from someone. So that's why. Yeah, you have to wait. If you played last game, you have to wait till the, the battle timer, which Ready is at the top action. of this column, gets to one minute. Ready for action. And then you can join. This allows people who didn't play last time to get in first. Yeah, you can always try. <laughs> it will tell you if you didn't play or if you played. <laughs> You're back a level. That is weird. Do, um, well, that's not good. Oh, I see you're back. Do, um, mushroom. level it up real quick. Death. Side effects might include growing mushrooms and work Ready for battle. and loss of sensation in naughty places. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna check Ready that out, shipwreck. Battle. Ready for action. That frightens me. <laughs> no, that's what I'm looking. No. Alright, I will I will check it out and I'll be right back. Oh look at that. Interesting. It says you're level ten. But the screen says you're level eight. That's interesting too. What the hell? Yeah. Okay, so you're probably as correct. Hmm. Interesting. I think something I think something didn't reset correctly. So I may I may res I may uh start it over. Something's gone weird. Let me write that down. Working on reset. Interesting. All right. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. 
Welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else are you gonna go? Ready for action. Ready for action. Really? With those shoes? You've got to be kidding me. Ready for action. Have fun storming the castle.
you're buying a potion. It might prevent death. Side effects might include Ready growing mushrooms and warts and loss of sensation in Ready naughty places. Action. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready for action. I used to be an adventurer like you, until I took an arrow in the knee. Something's going weird. I don't think we should, uh... Something's gone wrong. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> so we need to... Actually, I think we need to kind of wipe out... This. Something is going weird with the data right now. It's because I'm looking at... I think there's somehow it's it's getting confused. I I think it's somehow mixing up players. So basically right now if I go look up shipwreck, there's two shipwrecks. There's no Greggles. Uh let's see, let me look up flaming baguette. Flaming baguette's pretty easy though. Matthew J. Matthew J is hard though. It's just one Matthew J. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm worried about. 
And I think, yeah, I think Greggles doesn't exist. Anymore. I think somehow Greggles and Shipwreck characters got all messed up. Now I back up after every stream, I back up all the data. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is scary. <laughs> Why why are you describing it as scary? Because it, it could mess up uh, like we could lose character data this way. It's just a game show. <laughs> no, we must keep the integrity of our game. Are you okay? Yeah. Do we need to uh I don't know pull you away from the computer for a little while? <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe y'all will all die, and then it'll, it'll be like, yes, please reset it. This is not looking good. Yeah, I think I'm going to. All right, so let me, I'm gonna restore the game back to, uh, to basically a restore point. So does it do this, Neil, to you? Yes. That means it's just, it's losing connection to the, um, I'll be playing and it'll do it. Oh the yeah, that means somehow it's losing connection to the uh, controller. Hmm, that's weird. It shouldn't do that. Well, now you can't do stats because I just. Uh, um. Uh, here, do this. Let me let me boot it up real quick. Thank you. Thank you, Sheena Fulton. Alright, so, um, can you, uh, Greggles, can you do exclamation mark stats real quick? Thank you, Sheena. Okay, interesting. Let me look at my database real quick. It doesn't show you. That's what, that's what Shipwreck had. Okay. Now Shipwreck, you do stats.
Okay, that looks like his old... Yeah, I think there's somehow some wires crossed somehow. Looks right for mine. <laughs> yeah, you never play. But somehow you got to level two. Uh, it was that one time that I accidentally uh, yeah. joined it, telling people they could join it. Yeah, I think somehow... Somehow, Greggles and, and Shipwreck's accounts got, like, merged. Oh, yeah. So, all right. So, let's do this, <laughs> Matthew J. Um, so, I'm just going to reset everything. Hopefully, this will work. <laughs> no, no. So, I don't know what happened, actually. Something in the data as it was pulling it down... The only thing I can think of is in the first game. Uh, see, let me look. At, let me. I'm gonna go back and look at the uh, uh, the VOD real quick. Corruption in the database. I think what happened was uh, did shipwreck play where. Let's see who was in that slot. Okay, Arcade Bear was there. Hmm. An Arcade Bear had 64 hit points, level nine. I wonder what happened to Arcade Bear. Now I'm not. Now I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> no idea. Maybe you should just randomize the data. No. The arcade. Ah, he's fine. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I have no idea what happened. I have no idea. The only thing, the best thing I can think of. Well, what do y'all want me to do? I can, I can just. Uh, and just keep going as it is and it'll correct itself or uh or we can um i can reset the data <laughs> price quest thinks all canadians are the same that could be good morning murray i didn't even see you come in yeah <laughs> did they go up much Yeah, so stats should be, if we were to play again, I think it would be safer, Flaming Baguette. Yeah, I think it would be safer to do a reset. I agree with that. Let me let me do an, a quick export real quick and see what ha see how it's changed. Hold on. Cause I do, I do kind of a, a ch uh, kind of a spot check of all the data. <laughs> yeah, no one wants your wants your data. All right, let me look. I'm going to look at the data now real quick. One of uh on one of my calls today, one of my coworkers was saying when they asked the person for their u account username, mm -hmm. they accused them of trying to fish their data. <laughs> oh, just for asking their username? Their internal company username. Are you trying to steal my data? What? I'm looking at I'm looking at the data. I'm diffing it between last game and this game to see uh, to see how it's changed. Here, I can I can show you this. Maybe let's see if you, if you're interested. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Hopefully it's this one. Oh, that's too small. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that. There's uh, Matthew J. All right, so Shipwreck. If we look at Shipwreck... All he did was gain some experience points. Yeah. Now this is not no pad. This is this is uh this is called Perforce and it's diffing two different files. I have a feeling when I get to uh there's Justin. Okay, so here's Greggles. It says Greggles Wong, but then his name is now Shipwreck. <laughs> uh, level 7 to level 8. He gained a lot. He lost fries. Oh, because you leveled up. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, you're you're Jay Fr you're Fry's quest married now. Well, that's it. So actually, so the it's not so bad. Um, if you're okay with it, uh, so that name will will fix itself next time we play Gruggles. You won't be name. You won't see the name, uh, shipwreck, uh, on your account. So I think we should be okay. I think Shipwreck used Gregel's fries, maybe. I think that's exactly what happened. But who was Gregel's then? Like, how did this happen? Is what I don't know. Really weird. Anyway, all right. Uh, let me turn this off. Let me turn this eye chart off. <laughs> All right, so what? You, so you leveled up before shipwreck. Okay. All right, so what do you what do you want me to do, Greggles? You want me to just keep it? Up to you. Okay, we can just keep them. Hmm. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, 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 that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Uh, yeah, so the only thing that changed from Shipwreck was, uh, his experience points. It didn't look like Shipwreck really changed at all. Yeah, it would have been whatever he had last time he played. Last night. Yeah, because his account didn't change. We'll we'll test it in the next uh, the next game. Mm -hmm. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped it up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. It is. It's weird. Hey. Oh, the switch. Hey! 
<laughs> Thanks, Shipwreck. Is that going to cause... Oh, it's causing the others to go off. <laughs> oh! All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah! Okay, Link, your turn. <laughs> Go hold the Puripad over the terminal. Which looks a lot like a switch. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at this anytime instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Puripad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But hey, Skyview Towers right are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Puripad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a, a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested it out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. This item... Let you ride the wind. Ah. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for one, our very first test launch, I mean. Our first test, just step over there onto the circle and find me afterward, all right? Is this huh. gonna launch me into the sky? I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. Oh my. <laughs> I had a feeling this was going to happen. Oh, I see. You're supposed to use your... <laughs> Data brought to you by the ghost of Steve Jobs. that perfect landing like a skydiving uh, 
aficionado. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. How did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Uh -huh. Good. That map is crucial to our research. Or to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them yes. all. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. <laughs> all right. Have a good one, Marie. See you later. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden in the northeast. The Gerardo, Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, the, the Lanaru the Lanaru in, to the east. The strange phenomenon are concentrated in these four regions. Hmm. Can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Mm -hmm. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Do, 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 Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That's pretty weird, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. <gasps> oh, and before I forget, Link... We've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the going-ons in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheaval's many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Some, somewhere, someone, somewhere might know what happened to the princess. Yeah! I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomenon that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Get you. Ah. Sorry, I can't talk right now. There's something I gotta discuss with uh, Goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Okay, so those, yeah, these are all shrines that I, I found. <laughs> it's it's I, I just I wanted to confirm okay you might want to start with Hebra up in the northwest northwest got it 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Robbie yet. I'm leaving everything. He's going on and on about ideas of improvements with it. That needs and this is needs and I don't remember if I've talked to Robbie. I feel like I have, but maybe I haven't. Oh. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Hmm. Link. Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha! Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, ah. though. I'm Penn. By the way, I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place just to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seems like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Oh. Our newspaper is based in Hebra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to the Rito village. Stop by if you're up to the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. So long. <laughs> um, uh -huh. I like how they have a newspaper. Quite antiquated uh, form of. Uh, well, it's not like there's the Hyrule Internet. <laughs> Why not? They have a PuroPad. They have one. <laughs> I think. You're looking for Robbie? Yeah, I, I'll find him, Neil. I just want to look around. No, that's fine. I'm just trying to remember which person he is. He's there somewhere. I know, Robbie. Yeah. Ah, what a pleasant evening. Hey, you. Is it true you've got the Pura Pad? <laughs> sure and I worked together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know. We should have called it the Robbie Pad, technically speaking. Huh. Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to pay Hyrule news outlets. Exactly, shipwreck. Sorry, you were saying? Uh. I was saying that I want to go investigate the depth. Look, if you're going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. Uh. No way, on no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too, who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything uh, were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end of me. The end! Ah! I need more on, the, on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. Oh, swordsman, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Uh, okay. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. That's why I want to go down there so I can see if there are any more 
depictions like this one I want to see for myself. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Uh, Josha, come on now. Or is it Josha? Maybe it's Josha. Tell me, tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. Actually, didn't we take, didn't Zelda use the Pura slate to take some pictures? Pure pad to take some pictures? We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Pure Pad's camera to take a picture for it for Joshua. A perfect plan. Oh. Don't know about the camera? It's one of Pure Pad's most basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored on your pad there. <sighs> Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Pure Pad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there, anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths, though. I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and ready to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Ta-ta! What? Wait, hang on. <sighs> Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help out at least. Oh, and take this too. Ooh, five arrows. Um... The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, It'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of the lookout landing, southern gate. Uh, you'll find the chasm goggles just used just out, outside. Don't know too much about how your camera works. <laughs> but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Let's see, I have a torch on the end of a spear. It's like, why am I not there yet? <laughs> That's one way of doing it. Oh my goodness, the apples exploded. Oh look. My torch is on fire. I was gonna try and get the, the jellies, but I think they may have exploded. The, the, the apple got baked from the fire. Jeez. Goodness, <laughs> <laughs> they're fine, they're attacking me. <gasps> oh no, my flame. <laughs> Flame emitter shield broke. Oh no. Ah, oh, the hunt, the the honeycomb burned. I really can't be trusted with fire. Is what we've learned. Look at that shot. Oh, he's still running.
Where is he? Jumped over it. <laughs> hey, you again. I told you not to sneak up on me. Can't you see I'm right on the edge of the chasm? My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell? Him? On him. Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. stuff on the end of an arrow? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot. That gliding takes stamina. I forgot. I almost said something, but no backseating. <laughs> I'm right. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrive. Uh... He rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was walking, taking a, t taking a short walk over to the glowing area over there. Then he just kept going and going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? Oh, no, wait, uh... I do. <laughs> uh, throw material, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yes, I know. I know uh... how to do this. What are those? <laughs> what is that? A light root. of the kingdom. <laughs> oh, is that a teleporter now? Oh, I see there's three levels. 
the light root dispelled the darkness and the brightened the surrounding area. <laughs> um, well, you have to ask, but I mean, there, obviously there's a pro tip, putting a torch on the end of a stick. That's, look at that. See, look at the pro, pro tip right there. Until you have to fight somebody. Well, what if I just catch them on fire? through a, a bomb. All right, so what's your tip, Greggles? <laughs> Good call. Like, why didn't that? Oh, I like how he threw him. Ow. I say, how did that head? There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that that's that's interesting. Up there anyway. All right. 
because you weren't on the side with the ladder. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> Accidentally shot a firefly. So do you see on your hearts where two of them are grayed out? Yeah. That means... It means you can't recover them. Oh. Uh, okay. In, in, unless I rest? No. You are gloomed. You have to either go into the light or go to a light route. Oh. Uh, okay. You don't want to walk on that stuff because if one of those takes hold, it will take another one. I see. Or any of the enemies down here will do that too. In Sector X, all right. Okay. If you have to walk through one of those things, one of those puddles of that stuff, do it as fast as you can. Oh, is that what you wanted to watch? I don't think Mad Beard would show up because he didn't want to. Um, he didn't want to uh, get any spoilers because he's he's doing like a full playthrough of all the Zeldas. So it's gonna be a while before he gets to it. It would. If you go down there, it's probably easier to use the bright seat. Now you can restore the light. Yes, I see them now. Now they're not uh, yeah. sad. Or bro they're not broken hearts. So even if I used um, food, they would not have restored. That's what you're saying. No. There are certain things you can find that you can cook into food that will recover them. I don't know how much you want to know, so that's what I tell you. Thank you. I was confused. I thought, so where are... Ah. I guess this was the tower. Yeah, okay. I thought I was going back to the tower. Oh, yeah. I have not amiiboed today. Have you bullshitted today? Tried to bullshit today. I tried bullshitting today. Here, get me, uh... Actually, I don't think I've used the Link amiibo. Fish from trout from bird thighs. 
some bass. Wow, that's great bass. Ooh, a knight's bow. Holy shit, that's kick ass. Uh, we'll drop this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh? Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I, I'm a newcomer too. My name's Bermano, <laughs> and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have fruit and mushroom mix. That'll rev you right up. Oh. Yeah, but I was really looking forward to saying that, but... Um, plum out of apples. If you don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich, full flavor. My nose is detecting an aroma. A sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. It be, do you have an apple? <gasps> wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. You yeah. <laughs> have What a coincidence. <laughs> I'm calling it Romano Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Thanks. <laughs> Apple, a mushroom, and a pot. Look at that. They say... They say I don't uh, do side quests. That's an edible. Hmm. Well, let's use, we'll use the herb and we'll use some spice. I guess I don't have any more salt. <laughs> oh, is it now? <laughs> it's funny because I installed Wallpaper Engine today, actually. Um, but I did... Uh, uh, I have, like, Star Trek background. <laughs> Do you have threads? Threads? What are you talking about? That's Facebook's new Twitter copy. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm on threads. You know me, Neil. I'm already... I'm on it. I'm already threading, <laughs> exactly. Just so you know... If you... Yeah, you can't delete your... You, no, what I was oh. going to say is if you cook things with cross abilities, sometimes they cancel out. Yeah. Wow, that's great bass. No, that's terrific bass. That's terrific bass. <laughs> I still can't believe she did that with a straight face. <laughs> Spicy peppered seafood. Mm -hmm. 
mighty steamed meat. <laughs> In a few hours of shut eye, it was like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I slept, I slept an hour. So refreshed. All right. Uh, all right, let's pause it. What game did you want me to play? In Sector X. All right, I can't remember if I played that or not. I played it? Can't remember. I remember putting it on the arcade. I don't think I played it. I won't know till I see it. Oh, that was it. <laughs> no, I have not played it yet. All right. All right. Matthew J wants me to play in Sector X. Hey, Zab in our game world. In Sector X. All right. Uh, was this, this was kind of a side screw. Oh, this is a cute em up, right? Okay. What? This is what they've been calling cute em ups. Basically, it's like a shoot em up, but it's like a cute character. Oh. Um. All right. Shall we try it out? Let's um. do it. Turn it up. It's not loud enough. Oh. <laughs> not you. Oh. Why are you shooting the bee from the Cheerios commercial?
All right, I can do much better than that. That was kind of bad. I feel like I could do better. All right, here we go again. <laughs> Better. Thirteen four. I can do better now. You can do better. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, high score. Who has the first score? That's not even a real person, is it? MTJ. Matthew J. Alright. <laughs> no, I still think I can do better. <laughs> Alright, let's do it again. Snail A game. 
his eyes. Oh, six. I didn't beat it. <sighs> Let's find Dallas, Corgi. Alright, let's try one more time. <laughs> Do it. Five seven, that's not too bad. <laughs> that was much better. It's not <laughs> unbelievable. It's uh, not two sixty two one hundred. Let me update the hot scores real quick. Twenty five seven hundred.
And it is 7 8 2023. Alrighty. Okay. Um, Greggles and Shipwreck, are you still there? Hello, we are looking for Shipwreck or Greggles. Because <laughs> we're about to play some Fry's Quest and I wanted to check and make sure everything was okay with their account. They may not, they may no longer be here. Aging Mr. Shipwreck. <laughs> Mr. Shipwreck. Aging Mr. Shipwreck. <laughs> All right. Nope. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, oh, here, hold there on. He is. All right, go ahead and try and play Shipwreck. Okay, that's your character. Today? Nothing. If Greggles is there, it would be great if he could join too. Yeah, even oh, there he goes. And Greggles looks like he's back to normal. Okay, let me look up the database. You need to seed your random number generator. All right, you're there. Yeah. All right. Everything seems fine. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> you need to file your database administrator. Uh, so the those numbers are different. So those are the protection numbers, which which you saw in the in the JSON file was indexes to the armor table and the weapons table <laughs> and so then you have to cross the tables to then go get the protection values so yeah database <laughs> do you think it's weird that there's a programming language that's a misspelling of your name well it's not a language but it's a yeah it's a it's a file format and yes i hate it <laughs> I do not like it because <laughs> like you know you'll hear like a JSON document and I'm like what 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 JSON file that's not my file <laughs> we're closed get out of here <laughs> all right I will be oh my goodness y'all pulled a silver golem Holy shit. You know silver is that soft. Was, that was random. Yeah, I know. That's, that's silver is much, much softer than, than iron or steel. Yeah. I would I would suggest teaming up on that silver golem and getting it out first. You should have made it a titanium golem. Titanium? What's it? Verbra verbanium? Wait, no, wait. Vibranium is Vibranium. Fair. That's not real. I know, but yeah. All right, I'll be right back. I hope you survive this attack. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just going to have to sit tight and I'll be back. <laughs> but I'll see you in a second.
something, will ya? Ready for action. for battle do you want fries with that well too bad ready for action ready for action Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Shops closed. Have fun counting sheep.
comes and kneels, steals. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. You all deal too much. I need to raise these prices. Ready for action. Ready for battle. No, we aren't calling those Neil's heels. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Give him hell, kiddo!
Oh, senior Pollo got it. Ah. All right. You're muted, by the way. Congratulations, rigged. Rigged. <laughs> I was wondering what you, th I thought you, I couldn't tell what you said. I thought you said Greg. I'm like, Greg. Rigged. Rigged. Actually, we would have had the perfect thanks, uh, the perfect time for two of these folks to say rigged. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really was rigged earlier. All right. Actually, got to remember that I can... Port. You can also go through the ceiling. I can go through what? The ceiling. Oh, true. Good point. Yeah. But I can teleport. Yes, you can. Sometimes I walk around, though, because I find stuff. Mm -hmm. And this game is nearly what? as much about finding stuff. So yeah. Stop for a second. Okay. Never mind. Thanks for the uh, work, Sab. Oh. Do you remember how to sneak up on people in this game? Mm hmm. Huh? I think I do. I'll figure it out. Well, what I was going to say is, I want to catch those things. Oh. You sort of have oh, you got to sneak up on them. You have to. You have to yeah. I thought wow. he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. going. They're off to the west. Ah. Oh. Night from the surface doesn't reach down. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hey, Pass. How's it going with you? Happy Friday. Welcome, Pass. Are you feeling better? I remember you were sick or something. Oh no. We had to fix the, our air conditioners. Yeah, we had to fix our air conditioner. It sucked. Both of them. Did you see that thing dimly off in this distance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it. It's another one of the roots. Yes. Quest love is out there. Mm -hmm. That's what I figured, but I wasn't sure. I'm glad that you're better. Yay to pass being better.
<laughs> How did I miss? Sometimes one of them has like a backpack sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So they can put them on arrows. Rock hammer. Rock hammer. Hey. Or should I say the rock lobster? That do. Rock hammer. Oh, did your amiibo do anything? Oh, yeah, it gave me. Here, I'll show you what it gave me. <laughs> Help them, the arrows are rolling away. Oh, in fact, I've been using it. No wonder those things have been dying. It gave me a knight's bow, which is 26. Oh, yeah. I don't think I want to use it quite yet. I want to save it. Save it, save it. If you get the gloom on you again, you can go to one of these and it will clear it off you. Oh, this will clear you yeah, off? Yeah, you don't uh, have to go to the surface. Oh, okay. You'll still have to, like, eat something. Yeah, 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 but at least it takes... Oh, see, uh, yeah, that's why it showed it that earlier. Yeah. <gasps> what? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down in the dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, what? it's so luminous, it's almost like, oh. like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Oh. Hey, it's you. We're finally here. I need to show you what I found. Oh. This statue, it's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right. I forgot you hadn't used the camera when, excuse me, when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of PurePad's basic features. Hmm. Give me that pure pad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera's locked, and so's your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Then you bop it. You bop it. Twist it. Bop it. Ah! 
boom. Boom shakalaka. Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out. Experience. It's the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I'll want to see how it looks. Let's do... Yeah, let's get it framed. It's already selected. And... After... If you've captured an image of that statue with the camera, then hurry up and show it to me. I'd like to see how it looks. <laughs> Welcome back, Sap. So, did you get a good picture? <laughs> Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of the statue. You just started helping us research what, what's down here. Soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Don't worry. Worry be gone. Why is that there? Why is what there? Oh, but it's it's want me to I go. Think, I it think it wants me to go back to the surface. Yeah, I think that's the hole you drop down. Yeah. Well, no, I think what it is is that if, is that if is. If I were to go here, that's where she is. If you went to the map, if you went up to the surface level on the map, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's on a delay. Yeah, I see it when they see it. Yeah. A quagmire that will draw you in. Giggity. Hey, you. Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. Hey! Uh, that is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, Swordsman. Why she calls me Swordsman? Just like that. Just like on the slate. This figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory. That people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big discovery. Now that's ne now what's next? The possibility. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? All right. Oh, he. I'm sorry, Zab. Hmm. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power. Maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you'll find them useful. Whoa. That fragment has helped us see the depths of Anua way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down here. Maybe there's even more fragments that I could piece together. Survey says... Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> thank you so much for going on the... Investigate the depths for me. Complete. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I watched Senior Poyo play a game where he was shooting spiders. So just c pull out a gun and start shooting the spider. I, I What I find works well... Is a cigarette lighter 
<laughs> and, and 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 some Aquanet hairspray. Extra super hold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kind of like in that James Bond movie. Pretty sure it was the Northwest. You love spiders? I don't like them if they're larger than a quarter and in my house. That's true, we've left them alone before. Yeah, it's very it's very Breath of the Wild. I don't think I ever shot a lizard. I think I just <laughs> I did. <laughs> no, I saw you. That's why I was like, I've ever done that. in the <laughs> Oh my god Oh you haven't, haven't seen one of those <laughs> I almost almost took a picture of it That's true. I didn't think about that. Oh, you can cook the acorn. Yeah, yeah, I am. I remember from Breath of the Wild. It just seems weird that it took him so long to make this game. Hey, Cyrus. Yeah, I agree. Because it's sort of a... Um, I mean, in some ways, it's sort of just sort of a reskin. Right, exactly. I mean, it, I mean, it has new story elements and stuff like that, but... For the most part, it doesn't seem that much different. It doesn't seem like there was a lot of programming to it. <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, you would probably know better. Yeah. No, it just looks like they use the same engine. I mean, they didn't even change the music. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm sure they had something up and going really fast and they were testing it a lot. Cause yeah, it, <clears throat> it definitely, <laughs> there's a lot of ways of, of breaking it probably. I know there was a, Patch uh, recently. <clears throat> I mean, if they weren't happy with it for a long time, it was a real long time. <laughs> yeah. What did y'all say it was like six years? Five or six years at least. A windy device. <laughs> I just fell in the water. Oops. Did I do that? Oh my stars. Fanta juicy gel cup. Fanta flavored jello. Ew. Let's -a go. I didn't realize they didn't they act like it doesn't exist. No idea. Fanta Jello contains the precursor to nylon. Tasty, tasty nylon. Oops. 
they put out a Mario game recently? Uh, I mean, they put out Odyssey. That's just a retread, though, right? I bet. I mean, it was previously released. It's just a re remastered. Right? No, no, that was a, a unique game for the Switch. <laughs> Like you're wearing a raincoat. Wrap. Oh, you should pick up your arrow. Oh, thanks. Trust me, I'm hyper aware of the air. <laughs> I guess I can just leave the fans going. Uh, yeah. In outside of these things, it affects your battery. But inside, it doesn't matter. I see. Oh, Paul. For this light that will cleanse you of the evil. I didn't realize I had evil. Yeah, in, if you had let the animation go, you see the evil emanating from your arm. From my arm. I want to go that way. Heading this way. Heading towards that, I believe. So, if you saw where those four lights are, that's a tower. Yeah, that's where I was heading. <clears throat> Rapunzel? Yeah, you start, uh, yeah, you start, oh my goodness, what is that? Yeah, you start, uh, with full hearts and then you are evil. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Pass. So that's why. Yeah, but as you collect those lights, you don't, well, you have to turn them in. I guess you're recovering it, but... reality is you're just doing what you did in the other game. Yeah. Beat him. You should be able to. Just continue. Keep going. Do what? Just keep going. <laughs> I 
want something that will like hurt him. like that. <laughs> what? I shot him in the eye and the red and the blood moon rises. Witness the blood moon's rise. When its red glow shines upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters return to the Yeah. In a war long past, the world is threatened once again. I'll be sad if the guy I'm fighting, like, uh, like. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him in the butt. He's forgotten about you. He's running back. I wanna shoot him. Fine. Fine. Well, I mean, if you if you want to uh, fight him with four hearts. Nah, it's okay. It is possible, but. Ah. Oh. Bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? Why do I startle everybody? If you don't get hit? Yeah. Don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it, huh? Are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? Oh, oh what a shame, what a shame. Supposedly they, there are creatures called <laughs> bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls, odd stuff. Oh. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden, curious pair, very strange, maybe a little off. <laughs> They're looking for something the bubble frogs dropped. They asked me to do the collecting. Oh. They offered treasure in exchange, good treasure. It was a sweet deal, at least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That treasure was awfully appealing though. But you got spicy peppers right here. <laughs> is that what it is, Gruggle? Oh, you didn't go in the cave. No. Do I need to go in the cave, Neil? I mean, you don't need to, no. Yes, it's required. No. Well, I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a customer. Folks don't usually drop by this late at night. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. <laughs> ah, well, since you asked. After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this beaut. Didn't have any wheels. Okay, yes, clearly it's a fixer-upper. But I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up to, and I'll be set. Hey. There's a stash of unused building materials at every stable. Two stables that two... No two stashes will have the exact same materials, but they do have one thing in common. They're open to, for everyone to use, no questions asked. Ah. If you catch a wild horse, you can make it your own. There are lots of them around here. As a matter of fact, it's hard to catch them though. You have to crouch down and sneak up on them and or they'll run away. Even after you do catch one, you have to soothe the horse. It's the same mechanic as Breath of the Wild or you'll get thrown off. I always mess that part up. Fine, don't offer to help. Yeesh. Do I look like I can fix a horse-drawn wagon on my own? It's not as if I would pay you back. I'd give you all my savings, in fact. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. You've picked up a side quest. I know. 
I should not have. I should not talk to people. Don't talk to that bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> she just wants you for your time. Oh, I wonder if they have your horses. That's what I'm checking. Uh -huh. Oh. Yes, we know about this. Ah, oh. horse. Yeah, there you go. There's my horses. Yeah. Dippy and Epona. Oh. I have shithead, ass wipe, and ass crack. <laughs> ass crack is my best horse. Nah. Mm. Or if you'd like, they can be shithead and ass wipe. Ass wipe? Pony points. Ah. That's right. It's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there. Ah. Oh. You already have some pony ah. points. I don't think they had it in the other game. No, that's new. Ah. Or I got a, I got like something to um. So I don't. I guess I didn't have any playing points. Hey, Epona. All right, so oh, she, he's gonna be sweet and fix that bitch's wagon. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say I was going to put the wheels on very well. Yes! Ah, <laughs> This one's all right. <laughs> this one's not looking too good. Uh-oh. Shawshank Redemption Shrine. <laughs> All right. Let us... Oh, no. I do need to go here. And then save. All right. Let's wrap her up. Well, thanks everyone for being here. 
Um, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, but I also stream on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. And so I will be back tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> um, also, on Tuesday, I will be doing a 12-hour stream of, Bre of, Breath of, of, of Breath of the Wild. No, of Tears of the Kingdom. Um, because it will be my one year, not one year, <laughs> three year <laughs> anniversary as a affiliate on Twitch. And so I will be streaming during the day. So if you are working and want to put me on during the day, <laughs> go for it. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. It's been fun so far. It, it's very much Breath of the Wild vibes to me. And uh, and that's not a bad thing. So, so yeah, I will be streaming for 12 hours. Uh, probably noon. Noon to, to uh, midnight will probably be the, the time. That's what I usually do. Um, but, uh, yeah, check out the Discord if you want. I'll be uh, doing more. I'll announce the exact times on there. Uh, thank you to all these people. They're my subscribers. They get ad-free viewing, all those emotes. Uh, and most of all, my appreciation. Thank you, subscribers. I always want to call you all out. As, uh, and thank you uh, so much for subscribing and, and helping to support the stream. But you don't have to subscribe to support the stream. Uh, being here helps get my viewership numbers up so that I can turn that affiliate into a partner eventually one day. It's okay. <laughs> I do this for the fun of playing games and entertaining you all. So um, that's that's all that I really matter. That's all I really care about. All right, let us. There's our raid messages, and uh, let's see who's out there that we can raid. Raid. Almost like I, I could have just kept going. I, it's easy to lose track of time when you're playing this game. <laughs> it's my beard. My beard cam. <laughs> hey, Black Richie Rich. How's it going? There it is. It is his beard. Let us. We're going to go. Uh -huh. Let's, um, let us support. We're going to support a uh, team overture. And we're going to go over to Prince Harming, who is playing uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is a game that I streamed at one point <laughs> not in a while though I'm doing well I'm doing well just wrapped up a good uh Tears of the Kingdom stream it's it, it's funny I'm get I'm what that was the third stream of Tears of the Kingdom I feel like I'm just scratching the surface this I feel like <laughs> I feel like Tears of the Kingdom is going to be even longer than the Xenoblade Chronicles at this point Yes. That's what I think. Perhaps. <laughs> how, how do you feel like, how do you feel, Neil? Like, how, how, does it feel like you've been playing it a long time? Yes, he's nodding. You can't hear the rattling. It's not close enough to the yes. microphone. All right. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope to see you back here tomorrow afternoon. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern for uh, more Tears of the Kingdom. Stay safe. Do good in the world. Be kind. Bye. Be kind. Rewind. Be kind. Rewind. <laughs> Later, guys. Later. <laughs>